Good morning, super happy campers. Today we're at the 2017 Keystone Hideout. It's a 26 LSH, available for rent through JM Gaines RV Rentals. Now, this will sleep up to 10 people. There's a queen in the front. You can fit two smaller people on the sofa. The dinette folds down for two more, and there's two generous full-size bunks in the bunkhouse. And we're gonna enter right now, and I'll give you a quick tour. As you enter on your left-hand side is the control panel for your water heater. If you're boondocking, you'll want either gas or leave your water off until you need hot water. If you've got full hookups, just turn on the electric side. Here's your water pump switch. You can check your battery level, fresh water level, your black tank level, and your gray tank level. Up above that, you have your slide room in and out. Simple as that. Uh, when you're sliding the room in or out, I do ask that you go all the way in or all the way out. Don't go out six or eight inches and then bring it back in. Uh, what can happen is it can pinch the seals and then you end up with a leak. And here's your awning controls in and out. Probably noticed the awning is out right now. So that's your control panel. And enter. Of course, you also have your, your kitchens to the left. A really quick walk through here. You have your refrigerator, pantry, bathroom door. There's those full size bunks I was telling you about. Your dinette. You got your sofa. Here we have your entertainment center here. This is your entertainment center slash coffee service. If you open that up and look inside, if you have full hookups, you have your electric coffee pot. Yes, it'll run on the generator also. But if you're boondocking, there's, you can have your caffeine still because I would never go without a percolator. So there's that, and of course, some cups. Also in the entertainment center, here's your radio. Uh, it does, it is Bluetooth capable. The pin code is 0000, just pair it to your phone. To use your DVD player, you just have to pull this out of here. There's a little strap right here. You pull and do that loosens the bottom of the TV screen so that you can get that out, lay it down flat, and there's your remote controls. Up forward, you have your queen size suite. Generally, the it does not normally come with sheets on the bed. I provide you clean sheets and, and pillowcases. There's three pillows up there. There's a fourth one down here. There's, there's the rest of your sheets, pillowcases, blanket, all that inside here you'll have a couple of hangers for for hanging some clothing and you can put other things in there if you'd like on the other side we have you know of course the second vanity and you'll also notice yes the generator is inside now, uh, if anyone wants to sell me a rear cargo rack for an RV, I would love to have one. Uh, until then, right now, in for transit, the generator rides inside. And if you were wondering, no, I have zero issues with with fumes and smell. Uh, it's been in here for a few days, and it just smells like the trailer. And it has been up to like 100 degrees lately. Uh, here's your sofa. It does fold out. It's called a jackknife. Just pull up and pull it out, and you're down. For small people, it would be just fine. And then underneath, when you fold it back up, there's some games and extra blankets and things like that under here. There's also an American flag that can mount on the flag mount that's on the front door side of the trailer. Okay, you have your dinette here. You have some storage space underneath. You just pick up on underneath there. And there's storage space under both sides. You have your your double bunks here. They're full size bunks. You can fit two or three people on these if you want. I call it two and just say ten total. However, you know, if you want to put three here, three there, and don't put anybody on the sofa, that's great. Let's go back to the kitchen now because this is where we really are. There's some overhead cabinets that are, this unit is fully stocked. I try to make it as easy as possible for you. There's there's even a cheese grater in here. You've got plates. 
bowls, pots, even a butter container. You know, the paper products, I just ask that you reuse, uh, replace what you reuse or replace what you use if you use something up. That's kind of on the honor system. Of course, you have your double sink with a dry rack there. Microwave up above with a hood fan. Cutting board actually has magnets on it, so it, it'll ride right there. Just make sure when you before you light the stove that you take that off. And this does have a full, not a full size oven, excuse me. It does have an oven. It is approximately 17 inches wide, 12 inches deep. And that's about four or five inches of height there. Uh, I can tell you from experience, you can cook a full, uh, a large size Papa Murphy's pizza in this oven. Large size. Family size, not so much. The large size will fit in the oven and it's a great way to cook pizza. Over to the left of here, there's a little cubby there with your salt, pepper, olive oil, and lighter for the stove. Underneath you have your garbage can. I do ask that you empty all your trash when, when you use the trailer, you're all done, take your trash with you. A nice clean refrigerator. It's currently on. I have it plugged in and on, getting it cooled off and ready for a client that's picking up the trailer tomorrow. So, especially if you're gonna have a lot of food you make sure you remind me hey would you make sure that the trailer's plugged in the day before make sure the the refrigerator's cold uh you've got there's a toaster up there some you know disposable foil pans paper towels i provide four bath towels four hand towels four washcloths there's a couple of floor mats for your use right here you'll find your sheets for your bunk sets as well as some pot holders and other things. There's some cleaners down underneath in the bottom and more garbage bags. Uh, there is an ice maker if you would like to use it. I do ask that you use distilled, distilled water only. With that, oh, up above there, here's your thermostat. You just on, fan, cool, furnace, and off. Uh, here's a quick troubleshooting tip for you. If you're on air conditioning and it's blowing air, but it's not cooling, just toggle around to your fan. See how it's on high here? You adjust it to that. AU for auto. Then go back down to your cooling and your AC will work fine. I had this happen to me once and I've had at least one client has, has asked that. Like, Is there a trick to this? to make sure the fan is set to automatic. Hi there. We have medicine cabinet there. Nice little sink with hand soap. This may or may not last very long. It's just a little sticky hook and it's it's actually a textured wallpaper so it, it don't stick very well. But underneath there, you have some toilet paper, uh, chemicals. If you have to dump the tanks, just add a little chemical when you're done. Pardon me for that noise, boom does have a shower with a hand wand there and it is a bathtub so there's about 12 inches deep there and of course you have your toilet uh, I do provide back there a toilet brush so you can keep things nice and clean for yourself so you don't have to you know well enough said and that's the bathroom we're gonna pull back one more time show you there's the bunks your dinette your sofa with, there's overhead storage as well. Entertainment center. Me and the queen size suite there. Ah, what I didn't show you though. These do shut for privacy. There's just unsnap and slide it across. They're a little, and now you have privacy because it will actually, right here, there's a little hook and just hook it. So there you go, a fully closed private area. And same thing on this side. And your kitchen. Just, I really enjoy this kitchen. I've cooked in here several times. There, There is a built-in vacuum system. However, I don't have any filters for it currently. So until further notice, I ask that you do not try to use the vacuum. 
And there are silverware drawers here with silverware and miscellaneous utensils, knives, things like that. Uh, cup cozy, can opener, and another strainer. All right, well, thank you for coming and checking out the trailer. Let's, let's get out of here now and give you another step back, take a little full-size look at it. There you go. 2017 Keystone Hideout 26 LSH. Uh, my email will be down in the comments, so feel free to contact me if you're interested in renting it. Thank you very much, and have a great, amazing day.